Since you're more of a visual learner, I'm going to use educational props this time. So pay attention. This is me, Lo Wang. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like me, but you get the idea. So here I am after saving the freaking universe from collapse. Your egomaniacal sister's dead carcass lies defeated on the ground, and that asshole Zilla is no longer breathing down my neck. Talk about a happy ending, right? I was expecting fireworks and champagne. <sighs> Maybe an invitation to the Hall of Justice. Instead, the gates to the Shadow Realm open and wait for it. A 10,000 year old dragon comes fucking flying out! <laughs> Might be dead, buddy, but you're not forgotten. And I, I will not lose you again. Not to that armless oversight gecko! <laughs> Woohoo to me. The last ninja in the world. Best friend to the late god of mischief. <laughs> and the bonehead who brought on the fucking apocalypse. Oh, Hoji, I hate that I'm saying this, but I'm glad you're dead. I'm glad you didn't see it. I had one shot, one fucking shot to make things right, and I blew it.
Coming! to that dragon, I was a gnat, a flyer, a fucking flea. And sure, they can be annoying as hell, but fleas aren't exactly Apex assassins. That dragon was destroying everything ancient-related and turning it into dragon poop. Cheap-powered machines? Dragon poop. Zilla's great floating city? Dragon poop. Your brothers? Yeah, I'm sorry to break this to you, but yeah. Dragon poop. And the big man himself? Yeah, Zilla's probably buried under millions and millions of tons of rubble by now. He tried fighting back. Built rockets, rail guns, particle beam death rays. Used his genius brain and his billions to create a weapon to take that ugly bastard down. Problem was, that lizard was indestructible. It, its scales were impenetrable. That's why the ancients locked that fucker up instead of turning him into sashimi. Bottom line, I think Zilla is long gone. But I still wasn't ready to give up. I tried so many times to take that dragon down. But after a while, I started wondering what the point was. I mean... Why fight if there's no one even left to fight for? This is over. That dragon is toast. I am done with this macho bullshit. I am gonna open a comic book store with a dispensary in the back.
fucked up, didn't you? to the mask of that traitorous knob? No. Maybe. What, what do you care? I don't. Not really. Why not? That dragon destroyed everything you ever built and decimated the citizens of Zilla City! The, the Zillion Zilla! The Zillions are all gone! <laughs> what happened to you on that dragon, though, Wang? I think I lost my mojo. Just a little longer and this dragon's going down. are gone, their chi still lingers in their artifacts. We can harness the energy from Hoji's mask and use it against the dragon. How many times have we tried to kill each other? You weren't my first choice, or my fifteenth choice, but since everyone else is dead, I'm afraid you'll have to do. Thank you for that ringing endorsement. You may blame yourself for what happened to your friends. You've already lost everything. What else do you have to lose? You can join me in this fraught and possibly futile quest and go out in a blaze of glory. Don't you want to put an end to that giant slimy lizard and get us all a little payback? Ah, <sighs> what do you think, Hoji? Should I trust this old son of a bitch? Ah, fuck it. I'm in, you son of a bitch. What I'm saying is that if it has two legs, technically it's a wyvern, not a dragon. I might be getting facts from comic books, but no one said knowledge can't be fun. You're just too old to get it. The older the tree, the deeper the roots. The older the asshole, the louder the toots. You are stress talking again, Lo Wang. Are you in doubt we can do this? Kill a dragon as big as a mountain with a Halloween mask? Damn right. Personally, I'd rather have a battle cruiser with photon torpedoes. The mask holds great power, and once activated by the spell, it will call out the omnipotence of the gods. 
From my experience, magical objects never do what's on the label. into a Lilliputian part of your plan? Wait, where are you? Can you hear me? What the hell? No way. That thing transported me to some kind of sanctuary, I think. What's that noise? Is there a party? Demons! They're trying to break through the gates! I'll track you down. Hurry! Dilla, I'm coming, but I am not happy. I told you not to mess with the magic. That is rule number one, Zilla. Everything bad that happens happens because some moron messes with the magic. I didn't become the most powerful man in the world by following the rules. I make the rules. Ugh. Yeah, I will bet you don't feel all that powerful now, do you? Huh? Do you? Hiding in some hidey, hidey hole waiting for me to save your sorry ass from a horde of bloodthirsty demons. Just get here. Which can you by the way. Maybe we should find another line of work, dickhead. Dying ain't much of a living. So how exactly are we going to kill the dragon with Hoji's mask? By weaponizing it, of course. I don't think Hoji would appreciate that. Yes, but he's dead, so he doesn't get a vote. I am being reasonable, Zilla. I just don't trust you when it comes to powerful artifacts. You have a track record of being a dick.
Please keep your blood to yourself. Keep your pants on and stop whining. So more magic? Oh, that's just great! Funny even before I put that hole in. Demon! Tar Tar, baby!
Zilla, I want that mask back after your Sorcerer Supreme does a Hocus Pocus. It's the only thing left I have of Hoji. Zilla. Yeah. So, let me get this straight. With the help of your sorceress friend, you want to light some ancient magical fart in Hoji's mask and blast the dragon out of the sky? That's the plan. Yeah, but that doesn't sound very heroic. I was hoping for something cooler. Like what? Like some mythical ma- oh! Like some mythical, magical, legendary and girthy sword. We fight the wars with the weapons we have, not the ones we wish we had. Oh, come on. I, I, I just think a sword would be more stylish. Yeah! It feels kind of weird saving Zilla instead of kicking his ancient ass. Guess the apocalypse brings people together after all. Ha! you're opening today is a can of whoop ass! Anyone order a blood and gut smoothie? Yeah! 
Ravens are dead, and their gates are still standing. You are welcome. You see what happens when someone messes with my best pal's mask? Poof! My bet is Motoko tried to teleport us into the sanctuary. But since the dragon is draining the world's chi, she's starting to lose her powers. That's why we need to hurry. Yeah, let's just hope your sorceress friend doesn't screw the pooch. I don't have friends. And be careful how you talk to her. She has less of a sense of humor than I do. Whatever. If she doesn't mess with the mask, I won't break her balls. I'm serious, Lo Wang. Say nothing if you have nothing intelligent to say. That thing you destroyed was over 3,000 years old. It would help countless invasions and attacks. Well, thank you, thank you, but I can't take all the credit. Wang? What's with the hairdo? Is that a snake on your head, or are you just happy to see me? What the hell, Wang? Okay, I'm just being honest, brother. Talk about needing an extreme makeover. Sip it, you idiot! What the fuck? Did she just summon a trash panda? Hey, hey! What? Come back here, you little shit! Huh. Wang, stop this tomfoolery. This might be our only hope to defeat the dragon. That furry little ball sack stole my mask. What if it loses it? What if it eats it? You can't trust that rat. That's not just some random animal. That's a tanuki. Motoko's spirit animal. A manifestation of her power. Oh, come on, man. You know what it is. It's your fucking girlfriend's trash panda. She's not my girlfriend. Hey, no judgment here. She's not my type, but hey, whatever tickles your pickle. Detector says you fuck worth nothing. Demon go boom. Are you wondering why you took your mask, Mr. Webb? I am. I'm also wondering who does your hair. I took it. Because that mask is the only thing that can stave off our inevitable doom. And it was in the hands of a third-rate bargain basement ninja. With a smart mouth and the emotional maturity of a third grader. You sound just like my therapist. Is that a junk? I said a hip, hop, a hibbit, a hibbit to the hip, hip, hop. You don't stop. You're rocking to the bang, bang, boogie. Now up, jump the boogie to the boogie of the boogie to me.
Hey, what time is it? It's time for Yokai to go boom! And I love throwing shit up! Freaking raccoon. I'm gonna turn you into a sock puppet. My hand, straight up your ass. You hear me?
doesn't mean we're okay. You still got my mask, and I still want it back. If we want to succeed, I need to separate the uncertain elements. Like your chaotic idiosyncrasies. Okay, relax, Wang. You're gonna get that mask back and you're gonna blast that damn dragon out of the sky. That's what Zilla... This is the biggest whack-a-mole ever!
blast! Literally and figuratively. I don't catch that raccoon. I'm gonna put my foot so far up Zilla's ass, he'll be tasting toe. What the hell is going on there? Stop you, bastard! Motoko will consume the energy stored in Hoji's mask and use it against the dragon. Where the hell am I? What the hell happened to my body? Hoji? Oh, it hurts! Something is ripping me apart! Zilla! That's Hoji! He's... he's alive! It's too late now, Lo Wang. Even the slightest disturbance will break the spell, spoiling whatever chance we have to take that dragon down! This could happen. Has this always been your plan? If you want to be a hero, Lo Wang, you need to make sacrifices. Fuck you! I'm not gonna let you kill my friend. Lo Wang, wait! Doomed us all. I know those sweaty hands. It's Lo 